I just mentioned his badge, but if we zoom up, we can see that it says Colorado State Patrol Trooper. An abbreviation for Colorado is CO, and when you combine CO with Police Department, or PD, you get COPD. So we've shown him wearing a police badge that says Colorado on it to help you remember that Moraxella cataralis is associated with COPD exacerbations. Okay, now notice that we've added two more characters to the scene. The policeman is the grandfather of these two kids, and he brought them out here to do some target practice shooting. If you've ever been shooting, you know that it can be pretty loud, so it's recommended that you wear ear protection. Some of our characters don't seem to care too much about this recommendation, but notice that the youngest kid in the scene is obediently following these instructions. The earmuffs on this child's head should help you remember that Moraxella cataralis can cause otitis media in children. This is an otoscopic image of otitis media. Notice that the tympanic membrane is bulging out towards the viewer and appears red. It's very prominent right here and right here. This is a classic physical exam finding of otitis media. Now notice that we've added two signs to the image, be safe and police shooting range. The signs in the image should help you think of sinusitis, signs for sinusitis. So Moraxella cataralis causes sinusitis. Okay, now let's discuss treatment. Notice that we've added an ammo belt around this police officer. They're at a shooting range, so this seems fitting, right? Anyways, ammo sounds like amoxicillin, so it's our symbol for amoxicillin. Amoxicillin is an effective treatment for both acute otitis media and sinusitis. We've also shown him holding this large cleaver at his side. Cleaver sounds like clavulanic, so it's our symbol for clavulanic acid. So a more potent treatment for Moraxella cataralis is a combination of amoxicillin and clavulanic acid. This is typically used when amoxicillin alone fails. 